The Early Bird Catches the Worm by Jenkins Cruz, Alejandro Soto, and Alex Gascon. One day at work, Mike and Doug were talking. Doug asked Mike how his early morning workout went. Mike replied, not bad. Doug commented, I can't believe you work out at 4 a.m. to get ready to go to the gym. It's not too bad once you get used to it, said Mike. Mockingly, Doug said to Mike, are you all tucked into bed early to make sure you get your eight hours of beauty sleep? Mike just shook his head, laughing along with his friend. After a quick conversation, the two architects went back to their cubicles to continue working on their birdhouse design proposals. As Mike and Doug headed out of the office, Doug complained about being tired from a long day's work. Mike asked, are you still planning to go to the gym? Doug replied with an unconfident, yeah, I guess. Doug asked if Mike had any plans for later in the evening. Mike said, not really, but we can grab dinner after you're done with your workout. The two friends agreed to meet up later at the wormhole for dinner in a couple of hours that evening. After numerous considerations of going straight home to take a nap, Doug finally arrived at the gym, and so began his two-hour adventure, or shall we say endeavor. He waited ten minutes at the check-in line, spent ten minutes looking for a locker to store his stuff, and another ten minutes waiting for a treadmill to become available. After a light jog of about fifteen minutes, Doug was ready to start lifting some weights. But he thought to himself, I've been here for forty-five minutes and was only able to warm up. Doug guided his way through the array of gym goers and made his way to the bench press area. Of course, none were available. Too shy to ask the bigger and stronger birds using the equipment, Doug decided to possibly try legs. No luck again, only bigger, stronger birds than Doug. He glanced at the clock on the wall and realized that he had spent 30 minutes navigating through a sea of muscles. Desperately, Doug thought, maybe I can get some sit-ups in today. But of course he couldn't. All the equipment was taken by beautiful and well-toned female birds that really didn't need to use the equipment to begin with. Being self-conscious, Doug decided not to embarrass himself by asking to use the equipment, let alone use it in front of them. Frustrated, Doug decided to leave, remembering he had made dinner plans with Mike. He waited another 10 minutes waiting for a shower to free up and rushed over to the wormhole as quickly as he could. If there was one thing Doug was able to do in an efficient manner that evening, it was to get to the wormhole on time. As Mike and Doug were seated, Mike asked, how did the workout go? Terrible, Doug complained. Doug explained how he had to wait for everything at the gym, including getting into the gym and even for a shower to free up. Mike just chuckled and said, see, I told you, man. After the two laughed about Doug's unproductive workout, Mike asked, are you ready to get some dinner? Definitely, replied Doug. The two got out of their chairs and headed to the food. You see, the warm hole, which obviously provides its diners worms, requires you to catch your own meal. Mike gathered up worms as he easily smashed holes into the ground. Doug, on the other hand, struggled even getting a hole started. He was having such a hard time that he had to request for a shovel. As Mike collected more worms for dinner, Doug continued with his struggles. By the time he had dug a decent sized hole, the worms had already moved to a new location. Feeling sorry for his friend Doug, Mike offered him some of his worms. Doug obliged and they returned to their tables. Mike and Doug sat down and enjoyed their dinner. Doug admitted to Mike that working out after work is not working very well. He suggested, maybe I should start working out with you in the morning. The two friends agreed to meet tomorrow morning. Mike told Doug, hey, I'll take it easy on you. We can start at 4.30 tomorrow morning. As the two laughed, Doug admitted to Mike, I guess the early bird really does catch the worm. Fish.